tremendous night of American Hockey League action in store for you this evening. Let's drop the puck. The Bruins start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Moves it to Brown. Here we go, up and rush. Here's a chance. And he denies that great opportunity there. Reeves is so dialed in, James. He's coming in perfect. You can't get better than that coming off of a shutout. All you want to do is continue the trend, be confident in your crease. And man, the opponents don't want to face him. Great pressure on the offensive end by Blankenberg. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Chance in front. DiPietro's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Lovelace usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Here's a chance. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Oh, stop with the pad by DiPietro. shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him, because he can't see it. The Monsters get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, well, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Lays the body into that play. Cleveland's got the puck against the wall. Here's a shot. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of the momentum, and it is certainly here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Monsters have taken advantage of their opportunities here in the early going. Richard's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Walsh is into the offensive zone now on the attack. He got all that one. Knocked away in the offensive zone. There's a chance to the middle. And that's stopped. Slides it over to Fix Walensky. Cleveland's got it along the wall. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Callahan. Puts it on net. Great save. Taken along the wall by Richard. And that's knocked away by Mast. Sends it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Steps across the blue line. All alone. And that was stopped. The Bruins have it now. Down the left wing. They gain the zone. Shot. Oh, great save by Greaves. The Monsters have it against the wall. Greaves is aware that he has a shutout streak going, and so do his defenders in front of him. They're going to look to clear pucks and let him see everything. Mast slugging the puck. Cleveland's got a hold of the puck now. Providence has got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it to McLaughlin. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. Denied that one. Moves it quickly over to Mast. And that slides right out to center ice. Scooped up along the wall by Regula. Providence has got a hold of the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Quick feed to Brousseau. McLaughlin's got it in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Mitchell. Huge steal in his own end. 
Cleveland's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pre-game, how important it's going to be. Gives them nothing in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. And a stick breaks that up. Oh, pokes it away, guts the move, but it pays off. And another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Here he goes. Save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing, and they're getting loud here now. This is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Steens won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Monsters gain control of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picks up the puck. Quick pass to Blankenberg. Here he is, wrists on net. And he stopped that one. Centering B. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Quick pass across to Steen. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Puck scooped up by Meyer. Goes right to the crease. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. The Bruins' PK unit delivers it their way. He scores! Number one on the season! That's got to feel good. You know that you're setting yourself up for the rest of the season. You're always going to get off to a good start, and there's no better way than getting your first goal. Oh, how many times has this happened in a game, James? I mean, you get a golden opportunity at one end. Everyone's pressing forward. The quick counterattack and transition gets going the other way, and then it capitalizes. That's a great one for one team, and it's a tough one to take for the other. Late goings of this period. Providence is still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Moves it to Mitchell. Takes the feed at center. Passes it in front, and that goes off the side of the cage. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Taken by Renouf. What a steal in his own end. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. The Bruins take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Renouf. Big save just as time runs out. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Providence is behind in this game, and they're right where they should be, James. They haven't earned anything. Why? Because they haven't managed the puck. You have the puck on your stick. You have to make a good, quick decision with it. They turned it over way too many times. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Important task for the PKers ahead of them. Up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Providence is on the attack. Puts the puck on that. Oh, what a save as he denies him again. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Cylinders ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. 
And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Here's a pass to the middle. He scores! What a play! I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. Providence has been right there with them all night long. And look at this. We've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Puck picked up by Mitchell. The Monsters have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Puck moved over to Glitchbell. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Moves it to the middle. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Looks to get the puck over to Wolf. Rocked on the play. Makes the save. Cleveland's looking to break out of their own end. Myers got the puck. Moves it quickly over to the rings the iron. Cleveland's trying to gain some momentum in a tight game here, but it's tough to do when they keep bringing them off the post. Providence has got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Makes his presence known on the ice. Brown's taking it from his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Bernie. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Rakula's two-handed shot is going to send him off to the box. Pietro's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Poked away in the neutral zone by Callahan. Mitchell's going to join the penalty kill here as they remain short-handed. Pietro's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Lauko's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Renouf's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Monsters will lose a man tripping the call. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Takes control of the puck. Can't connect on the shot. Turned aside by Greaves. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Quick feed to Walsh. Bang on passes, center in the neutral zone. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Oh, what a stop! Battle along the boards. Sends it down low. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And that pass is redirected. Providence has gained possession along the boards. Can't play the trigger. And that's a smart heads up play by Blankenberg. And the puck clears the zone. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one, and it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. So finding how to do it, getting it done, just did it. And he makes the save on that play. From point blank, can't connect to 
as it goes off a stick. Slides it diagonally to Callahan. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends the pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! Great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you gotta out battle the net front player. You gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. The Bruins, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one way left and your opponent is gonna come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around and I expect that it will continue to be. The Monsters will play it from the defensive zone. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Makes a save again! And there's another great save! Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Providence has got the puck here in the open ice the pass and works the cycle down low. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Let's it go! How did he stop that one? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive and taking away any of the net. The Bruins are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals and they lead in the second. The Monsters win it in the defensive zone. The Bruins will play it from the corner. Sends it in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Using the net for cover. And here's the pass to Steen. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Providence has been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. The Bruins come up with the defensive zone draw. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw, coming off of an icing where everyone's tired. And you get the win, you get out of your zone. Cleveland's looking to break out. Gaining momentum along the wing. And now he tries to get it across to Payne. Shot! Oh, clutch save! Di Pietro dialed in in anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blown, stopping the play. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Lauko's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Gets the puck over to Rikula. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Quick pass to Mast. Hammers a shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Greaves. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Cleveland's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks at a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. they got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. The Bruins have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. And with the puck being dropped, here we go. The clock is running here on period number three. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Bears are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. Takes the shot. Big save. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it. You've got to be fast. You've got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. And that's taken by the defense. Gantz moves the puck. 
Big time play right there. Suddenly feed. Can't connect the play. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Here's a feed in front. Oh, what a chance. And he fanned on the puck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Providence is hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. From one point man to another. Oh, what a save in front! And he takes the dish. Throws it in. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Mitchell's got it in the defensive end. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. To the front! Great read with the stick. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop by Breeze! The Monsters move the puck in the defensive zone. Puts it in deep. Providence has got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Mitchell. Scoops up the puck here. Takes the feed as center moves up ahead. Here's a chance. Stones him in front. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 3-2 is where we're sitting. The Monsters win the draw on their own end. Good Branson's got the puck in his own zone. Slick feed. Grabbed along the board by Richard. Sends it over to Regula. Providence has got the puck along the wall. The Bruins have it now. Providence is at the back end. Puck grab by Dunn. Cleveland's got it in their own zone. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. The Bruins played along the boards. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. Break away! Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight. When you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. you got to find a way to get the puck to the net. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Wax it into the offensive zone. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Levels him with the hit. Puck scooped up by Mast. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Cleveland's got it against the boards. Cutting to the front of the net. Grabs the puck in the slot. Who had the edge? Harlan's standing by with the answer. Rocco's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken by Sillinger. Here he is from the slot. Oh, puts it wide and oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Takes the feed from his own end. Can't keep a hold of it. And he takes the pass. There's a firm collision. Takes it into the slot. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Scrum along the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Gains the soul through the middle. Lowers the boom with that hit. He looks deep to Lauko. Stoppage and play offside the call. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. The Bruins take possession after that neutral zone face-off. Passes on over to Renew. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. 
Tries to feed it over to Richard. Uses the force on that hit. The Monsters are in transition. Puck picked up by Dunn. Comes up with a stop. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Dishes it to Pittsburgh. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate. Close save, and he handles it with ease. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Bruins are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so get them now. There should be a good one coming up. And they'll start with possession. Oh, what a move! And that banks off a stick. You'll need more than that to beat him. Greaves covers up the puck and will get a whistle. Well, he's had an excellent night, James, and he's been reading the flow phenomenally, and it has exactly that right there to be able to hold on. The Bruins lead it late in this third period. The Monsters win the draw here at their own end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Monsters take it along the wall. Takes a shot. Greaves has made his way to the bench and the extra attackers on the ice. And that goes off a player. Here he is in close. And it is all over with this one. What an energy in the building tonight here, Cheryl. I mean, this thing had a little bit of everything, and I didn't want it to end. Well, in particular in the first period with a number of goals, high-flying offense, but then everyone kind of settled in throughout the game and got back to playing some defensive hockey. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.